This our show, and we talk about everything, and we talk about everything. Royal Flex, the brand zone introspective insight right now. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. I am King Dev Dope. And this is Shannon Shenanigans. And I am your favorite co-host, Noel Moore. Late ass. Why is you... Why? I and this is Royal Flex, the brand's introspective inside talk show. I think that was your subconscious. I think it was your subconscious. need some help. Don't worry about yourself. Okay. I'm a second. All right, so... Um, <laughs> The word of the show is Jambo, <laughs> or Hugh Jambo, or Salama, Sa- Salama, I think I, w- I would pronounce it, and that just, hello, and um, and uh, Swahili, hello. and then um, the quote of the show is, if you choose your eyes, I mean, if you choose, I can't. Come on, bro. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? And I, I looked at it like that. I don't say choose. Uh, <laughs> Nowhere near. If you close your eyes to facts, you will learn through mistakes, uh, accidents. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> right? Uh, right? I don't know. I don't know. It's okay. We back. Even though. Gang. That's you know, like something that Snitch would say. If you what? close your eyes to the facts, you will learn through your accidents. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon. <laughs> I ain't Perfect. If you close your eyes to the facts, the things that have happened in the past oh that have resulted goodness. resulted in negative. Who said it was negative? I had negative a, life experiences. I had a bunch you more will positive learn through accidents I, as you have had. I no. If I do something every day, I'm bound to go through ups and downs because that's life. Every day you go through ups and downs. What? And that would have happened regardless. I could have fell asleep happened, after that. Does, that doesn't happen. I know this is off topic like a motherfucker, so I ain't going to expound on it, but Over I haven't heard that in so long. Yeah, oh, what? You ain't hear what? Off topic? My own voice with it. Oh, your own voice with it? Yeah, it. Even though it play every week? No. When, I mean, I know oh, you've been gone and, yeah, and but, um, you know, gone. On, on, life on hiatus. Oh, my. You've been gone on hiatus. Baby whatnot, boy. But it's my first time here. You wasn't listening last week. You was here. I know I was, but I, it's my first time actually paying attention. Like, who's that sexy goddess? Though? Oh, goddess! You say goddess? I was look. I was. I, I was. Look, I, I was looking at Noel when I was, <laughs> I was talking. Yeah, she distracted me. <laughs> but I'm a bad bitch, though. I'm a bad bitch, though. Yeah, I'm a bad bitch. I'm a bad. I'm a baddie. I'm oh. A oh, okay. Thank you. All right. So listen for the for the off topic. But off topic, let's talk about these um, movers and shakers of the rock. You can't do, right now. You can't I do what? I cannot believe you right now, dude. Who? You. Me? Yes. Why? Because, man, listen. I feel you. I feel you. First of all, if you're a mover and shaker, right, You sh- I, like, I should know what you're doing. Like, but the fact that they move within their own circles, I feel as if, yo, you really struggling with, no, without that arm. Like Nah, 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 nah. I mean, that's still a, p- a part of the mover and shakers that kind of move within their circles. But I just, like, it's mad dope dope uh, events coming up. And I don't know nothing about them. Nothing. But I know the people that's in there. Like, I know people that's doing it, but, like, I don't know nothing about these events. I, I'm learning I'm, I'm learning of them f- through people that I know, right? But it's like a lot of these things... I can I can add value to them. We can add volume to them as you know young young minds going into it. But you don't you never know. Like even when if they're looking for speakers and things, just events in general. Like I just I mean I know about networking events, events for leisure, events like um I don't know just community events. Period. Just like the how the. 540 West Main Community Communiversity, mm-hmm. like how they got events and stuff. But you see them, like you, mm-hmm. like I know. But okay, then, for example, are you talking about like the under the surface, like yeah, the, like like them them community the events, events and stuff. That you have to but then you got you, but that's like love. an organization that's paying for marketing, you know, to have people come. You know what I'm saying? Like I seen that through, you know, just being on social media, mm-hmm. and there's no one person. Then you got these people that's moving within their circles, and they they got dope events. Like I just learned of the Black Business Black Tie Gala, 
which is honoring Rochester black owned businesses and black owned black owners in the community with their businesses doing good for the community. Whatever the case, I just learned about that today. And I'm like, why don't I know about these things? How did you see it? I seen it from so my boy Devin that's running for city council, I seen it on his page. Because he has he has the Father's Day awards Father's Day um award ceremony or show on Father's Day. And I was supposed to um, do some sponsorship stuff uh, so I could have the brand. It, it'll be like a Royal Flex brand award. And then I got like, I get some time. Who but I couldn't is? do it. Huh? Who daddy you is? No, 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 no. I was going to do a sponsorship thing. Okay. He, he living a secret life. So I was, no, no, no. Who's daddy are you? I ain't nobody daddy. Say that today. But tomorrow, hi, Drake. Shut up. <laughs> announce, <laughs> announce your Shut thing. up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but nah. Like, but I seen about, the, I learned of that event through a different avenue, right? And I just feel like a lot of these things, they should pay for advertisement so we can know about these things. And I reached out to some of these events like, yo, how can I be of assistance in this realm? Because I am like black owned businesses around here like so wh- i've been doing this wh- what if you just don't know exactly what to follow because obviously he got it on his page like what if he's following us yeah, no, no 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 I, I understand yeah to no. some degree so here's the thing that's that's my thing they move within their circles so then their their events are only within the circles you know how much bigger the rock awards could be if they moved outside of their circle probably like, you know how much bigger it could be if they brought in people that's outside of their circle to help them expand their brand? You know how much greater it would be? Probably. That's the same thing. Now, the now the black the black businesses, black tie event, that's, this is the first year it's doing it. So, you know, it's the first year. But I'm just saying, there's a lot of events that's been going for three years, two years, a couple of years, and you don't know nothing about it. Nothing. Like, I, I know nothing about the Rock the Peace Um stuff going on until i started getting around uh vandell because that circle is like the people that's moving and shaking with the rock the peace and the owner of rock the peace and all that stuff like i didn't know about that stuff until i moved within the circle of the people that's kind of supporting that kind of organization you know what i'm saying that specific organization it's all about who you know and that's just been a fact of life over and over again i know a lot of people and that's and what they're into and that's the thing. I know a lot of people, and I still don't see it, which is crazy. Maybe some they of it is keep exclusivity. It. Yeah, but so one, maybe they want to keep it like all, that. And also, some of it is, like I said, the people you're around. So there's some people that um, that are in my life that are like in the the performing art scene. So then I yeah. might get a lot of you get put on from shit about like that. that. Yeah, right. And then I have friends who but it's are like, in more of like a business scene, and then I get like put on about things going on in Rochester business. But it's like they gotta fuck with you first for you to. No, gotta fuck with me first these are just these are friends like people in my life so it's like depending on how diverse the people are in your life you're mm-hmm. gonna know about different things my mom's an actress so there's a lot of things that go on in like the theater world and stuff that i know about you might nece- not necessarily know about what my yeah. mom is mm-hmm. in theater so sometimes it's all about who who you're around mm-hmm. and some things are exclusive and i really don't understand the exclusive the exclusivity in rochester when everybody's in poverty so ain't nobody making no money listen so if you don't believe me, go to actrochester.org. Everyone is in poverty, but everybody got money. I don't understand. This is the I, this is this, this is, this blows my mind. All all I'm saying, everybody's broke. Yeah, all I'm saying rich. is where the money include. is. Entrepreneurs, most entrepreneurs is broke. All Why I'm you s- in the bins and you just started your business? Well, because no oh. because there is this um luxury car, um renter ship place. No. To Wait, where I gotta put that money elsewhere. Fake it's, it's, no, for real, for real, though. It for real, for real. It's a, it's a, no, I learned of it. it I you learned of it, it, it like, the night of the Rock Awards. I learned of it the night of the Rock Awards. You There's a place, it? it's a place you that you can. People were driving there? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a guy that um rented a Rolls Royce I something. I and I, I thought it was his car. But then when Good News posted the, the, um, the pictures that he took with the car, because Mikel, he's posted pictures with, so that that was the whole night when Kevin Gates came. I think it was mm-hmm. Kevin Gates' concert, mm-hmm. and then the Rock Awards were that Sunday. So the dude, the promoter that brought Kevin Gates was at the Rock Awards too, and I seen the Rolls Royce because it was parked on the on the sidewalk. So 
I'm thinking like, dang, dude, like he really getting money. Bring, you know, he doing his thing, right? Mm-hmm. So then, um, good news posted the his shoot with him, and then he tagged the company that he got the car, he rented the car from. I'm like, oh, so maybe it's like a business deal oh, type of thing. It could be. I'm not. I'm That'll not. Work. I'm not knocking That'll the dude. Work. I'm not knocking the dude. But I'm just saying there is a luxury. Mm-hmm. I didn't know Rochester had one of those. Like, yeah, you I didn't know luxury Rochester cars had. from Enterprise. Not no Lamborghini or nothing. Yes, you can. They have luxury cars. You can rent them from Hertz as well. It's just you got. Really? Have, you got to have the the money and the credit score. Oh, I didn't know that. You trying to fake the phone? Listen, we trying to get a Lamborghini tonight. Mm-hmm. So uh, fake yeah, baby, I do this. <laughs> I ride yeah. like this mm-hmm. every day. We gonna do one of them videos that they be doing in L.A. Like. Please you know, because I'm a clown, y'all. Yeah, this fake it till you make it is not renting out a Rolls Rolls Royce and making people feel like you're making that amount of money. Faking it till you making it is telling yourself, I you are what you see. You know what faking it till you make it is. When so you, for me, faking it till I make it is you're a designer until I'm like, yeah, this is my grand opening. When you when you send out an email, you say we at Static Vibrations Network exactly, when it, when we know thing. that it's just one person. <laughs> <laughs> but we here though. But we here though. We you gotta. The office, but that's baby? business though. You gotta. You gotta present yourself as an organization, not as one don't person. Don't spend money on. But you don't spend money on on extra because that money is your working capital for your business. I know. About, I know a girl that scripts to mm. get her business. And it's, Listen, it's, that's it's an entrepreneur. That's a Listen, that's an entrepreneur. I go into a business partnership with a stripper. Listen, you go out there, you do the dancing, and you bring me back the money. Oh, and so we you, you trying to be a pimp? That's a pimp. <laughs> That's <laughs> At least a pimp. At least a pimp out there with her. At least a pimp will punch I'm, I'm gonna in the face. Uh, uh, they got security there, right? <laughs> Yo. You can practice in here. You can practice Yo, in here. You trying to. No, listen. We can practice. Listen, in, in the multi-purpose studio, she can practice multi- her moves. Multi- <laughs> it's multi-purpose. Oh, so because it's in here, you got to get 50%. Yes. Okay, that's it. Listen, because we 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 going we going big time. That's it. We going I'm big time. Dying. Listen, that's that's what we do. That's it. That's yeah. what we and do. And wor- worst come to worst, she get a water. <laughs> yeah, she can get a water. She get a water. <laughs> Shit. Mm. No stripper in her right mind is going to give you 50%. You don't know that. They, you don't know they that. got to start somewhere. It's all about the pitch. Business savvy. It's all about the pitch. Can't nobody pitch me 50% of my business. When I'm not pitching you. 50, 50% of my ass. 50% Come on my, now. Yeah. Come on now. You ain't fucking nobody. Can't Yet. nobody. Get... <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Yet. You been, Yet. You've been here too long. <laughs> what you mean? You've been home too long, Devin. Um, Please do not. Um, Please do not engage in this. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. So I'm listen, listen. I just, I, 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 listen. I'm just saying. <laughs> all I'm saying is, um, to the movers and shakers out there in Rochester, and include the young bloods, That's all right? Like, like in, in, include the, us because we got the dope vibes. Attention. Period. Like, don't read, don't read okay, messages. So can I be honest? What, what, what? I'm not like a mover and shaker of Rochester, but it, there is something I forgot to tell you about. What? You gotta speak up, like I. Cause I'm, I'm looking for this guy I went to school with. He's putting together like an event for black, young professionals to like network, things like that. When? And it's April 27th, Black Power Event. Oh, I mean, what's up? I'm trying it's to. It's called I'm through behind the lens or through the lens. Oh, I don't know, I know about it, but okay, that's cool. We we in there, like swim here. Oh, we might do a live show at the um Father's Day awards show. You, not if you don't tell me who your baby mama is. LMA, you ain't know? <laughs> no, nah, she says she done booed up. So <laughs> she ain't booed up. Not, that's the, I'm the boo. But she ain't the only person up. in this room that got to see her was me. So I'm trying to, I'm, I'm the boo. Matter of fact, you ain't, <laughs> no, you're not. I'm the boo. Wouldn't that be a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> right? Wouldn't that be a that bitch? happened to us already. And she still don't even eat the pussy. That happened to us already. What? A word? Devin wanted a bitch and you ended up with her? That happened? Happened to what? Wait, what's going on? I'm confused. <laughs> she took your bitch back. Yeah. Wait, what happened? You got your bitch took by Noel. I did. When? You got your bitch took by Noel. I wouldn't say she was when did, she, but... She wait, what happened? What are you talking about? I didn't talk to nobody. I'm talking about the girl in DC. When you and Devin kept talking about that girl all day, then we got with her and she was like, and y'all was like, what the fuck? You, you don't remember the girl in DC? Y'all... y'all Anyway, this girl in DC. Nah. Was all day saying, yo, it's this girl. She mad fire. She mad fire. So, girl. so all day they're like, oh, she mad fire. So then she ends up inviting us to a party. And we mm. go to the party and she like flirting. I wasn't, I wasn't 
I was not engaging. So pretty much you took his bitch. No, it had, nah, it no. wasn't mine because I don't even know her name. Damn. You forgot about it's okay. I don't know who she is. Space from time to time. I, don't, I mean, if it's okay, listen, I'll admit it if 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 I remember, it, but so I don't you remember. Be, be yourself, live your true colors. You know, people don't be want to live their truth. Noelle people got the mat. She, she got. The I wasn't mat. trying to take anything. I didn't she, even. Listen, know she, it just fell on listen, there. listen, me, her, and Dev was all in the same room. She ain't take nothing down, so she ain't take nobody. I didn't take nothing down. Yeah. Why you she ain't taking nothing down, that, so that prime real estate I'm not right taking now. nobody down. I'm in a weekend out of town. What? Man, listen. A uh, girl. All it takes is the right night, huh? Yeah, maybe. The, the right night. What you need, Henny next time? Nah, she and, need, and, and what she, she, she need, need to be somewhere she need where in Atlanta. She need to be need somewhere to be where it's expensive you. to <laughs> be there. Like, you it costs. What? You need to be somewhere where it's expensive to be there. I'm only in Paris once in my life, girl. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you know me. <laughs> Egypt? I'm glad you know me. Egypt? In the pyramids? In, in the pyramids, though? More of the story is. Oh, okay. They just put it that way. It was funny because he was like, I mean, whatever. Things to happen. each his own. Things happen. Yeah. I'd rather my girl took him by another girl. Than the dude? Hell yeah. Wow. Now, that's embarrassing because I could have told you the shit he told you. But her? She could have told you 18 different ways. Dang, would you like your man taken by another man? How would you feel? (laughs) You don't like men. That's the first. How would I feel? He's gay. What do you mean, how would I feel? How How would you feel? feel Your chick got took by a girl. That could be a one night thing. She could just be, you know, trying to have. Menage a trois. Yeah. Yeah. She could be trying to set us up. You ain't gonna menage a trois with. That would be a little. Like how long you Mad been sucking his dick and we've been kissing and shit? <laughs> 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 yeah, it'll be, yeah, I don't know. Like, call it, fecal call matter. It <laughs> you been eating his <laughs> I know you only got a few holes to lick. Listen, <laughs> a lot of dudes in Rochester is gay too, so that's another reason why you got to keep it mm. on the job. I, I, I don't know, know. I don't know. I might be a hypocrite mm. for that, but I'm not with it. I'm also I mean, about my shit. So yeah, I mean yeah, I, I'm with the upfrontness, but shit, what I'm not with. Is these undercover niggas? You might as well just. It's 2019. If if the world can't accept you, you got rights. Yeah, you got better rights. Go you, ahead got, you, you got mad rights. You, you better go ahead and accept. Yeah, got more yourself. rights in the black community. What? <laughs> Don't start that. What? They do. Don't start what? Over here. They do. But it, I, I, that ain't a bad. That that's no. that's a that's a thing. That's no. progression. That's a thing. You know. But women can go back. The moment a man come out the closet, I don't care if he found Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Allah, <laughs> Buddhism. Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, you still the gay nigga from down the street. Welcome, Buddha. Gay nigga down the street. <laughs> no pun intended. No pun intended. <laughs> I don't hear you, but I know you're saying something wild. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about um business. Let's talk about business. I'm done. Come on, um, yeah. What's up? I'm, I'm starting. Yes, you starting. This was your your thing. I'm trying to show someone where our live is. So can you give me? It it should be on it your page. All right, so I'm I start since I'm you know what? ain't ready. We we what? So <laughs> I'm, I, I got a lot going on today. I Listen, I need your ready. head here at the table. All right, so business. Yes, sir. When you are a I don't even consider myself an entrepreneur at this point. But when you are someone with an idea that you want to make money off of, yeah, you create this fantasy in your life that you're like, oh, my idea is the shit. And once I put it out there into the world, boom. They're going to love billionaire. it. Billionaire. Oh, oh. Guess what? Uh-huh. No. You're poor for a very long time. And you just run into shit and run into shit and run into shit. And it ends up, you know, making everything better. You learn how to become better at your craft right yeah um you become better with like working on finances within your business right? yeah Bef- but while all of this is happening at least for let me speak for myself mm-hmm. while all this is happening you know i might cry once a week yeah you taking l's i'm crying a perso- once a week little personal l's mm-hmm. like damn i thought i am overwhelmed as fuck mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. It, but it's worth it right i'd rather be overwhelmed about Something that is mine, I'd rather be overwhelmed about, like, me putting my money where I want it to be. Right. But I think that, <clears throat> like, how we were talking about the movers and shakers of Rochester, everybody wants to portray this image of, like, entrepreneurship, and it's like, I'm the shit, and I'm doing this on my own, and I'm making, like, 
make, you know, a profit, 100% profit off of what I'm doing, right? Not necessarily 100%, but you know what I mean. Like, mm-hmm. I'm going to work for myself. But none of that is easy, and I don't understand why people feel like there's no value in having a conversation about what it's really like and what it really takes to have your own shit. And not even have it, but even at that time span where you're starting it, because you don't have any money, you're not bringing in anything. Mm. You're putting out, when you start a business, you're putting out a lot of things and getting little return for a long time. Mm. But I feel like we, first of all, we live in a city that tries to act like it's not 53.8% poverty. And that other 50 so percent is Mm. people in the suburbs. So where our community, 100% of the people are in poverty and no one wants to act like that. So it's like when you're also trying to start a business coming from an area like this, you have to work so hard to even like for a bank to pay you any attention and be like business loan. Well, you never learned about credit. So you made X, Y, and Z mistakes. You got to fix all that. Then do what you got to get your personal shit together. Then come and talk to me about a business loan. What do you mean business loan? What, what are you talking about? We need a black bank. These things happen, and I don't think in a black community people want to talk about that, how hard it is to do it, A, do it black, B. I would say, I mean, I agree, and I, that's why we got to support each other, going back to our movers and shakers. Mm-hmm. We need to, to support each other. So if you're organizing events, you should be kind of honing in on the young talent to show them how to throw an event, put a, an event together, like, or and I'll, use the young people to tell you how, show you how to put an event together. Right, some same di- are collab. Hey. Some of these events could use work. Hey, just like Killer Mike did. All you got to do is make the information you're providing entertaining. Like, no, Shannon, we're not making everything about porn. You sure? Yes. Wait, what does that do with porn? Porn is the most viewed. Like that's the most. What is what is it? The most viewed. Thing on the I internet. See a mixtape on porn. Listen, when when or a vid music, not a mixtape, a music. Video. When <laughs> change your life. Fun fact, fun fact. <laughs> when to that point, when Facebook and Instagram went down that day, and it was down for hours, uh-huh. Pornhub rating spiked. I was too spiked. I spiked. was too dizzy no to re- realize that it was broken. I'm like going spiked. off on my Wi-Fi people. And it erected. Like, it, <laughs> no erection. It erected. So so put the stuff you sell on Pornhub. I'm saying make it more entertaining. So, you know, just get have a girl getting so her pussy ate in the explaining. Bed and then put my website. You can. So, so explain it, your it's, website. It's all about. It's no, a, I don't want no dirty money like that. It's that ain't dirty, dirty money. What dirty money? That's love. It's all about how you oh, write okay, the script, okay? okay? okay. <laughs> it's all about okay, how you write the okay. script. <laughs> just have you laying down in the bed, candles. I, I'm not, I'm not going to be on no, the I'm saying, video. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, it just have your candles and shit, you in the lingerie, the, the mood set, and then as, all of a sudden. As, as progressive and free yes, as I am, and yes. I do not want to give the porn industry any more That's not fun. porn. The, because no, the porn I, industry I, is it's, very it's corrupt not porn. and it's very dirty look, and look. it's very sad. The end, the end scene you know, is the nigga you, taking out your guys. You know the white girls it's get paid more for uh, sleeping with the black man. Come on. But the black girl don't get more for sleeping with the white Come man. On, everything is racist in some Do you know way? once oh, you have okay. sex with a black man, your career is over? That's I watched okay. a documentary on porn. On porn. That's okay. And I mean, like they needed thing. a career change. Like those high end, like high white, uh, super porn stars. Once they have sex with a black man, that's when you know their career is on its descent. That's what I'm saying. You, so need, they get paid you need a more. career change. They need more money. You need a career change after that point. I I I, I agree. Because there was a dog and, okay, anyways, talk anyways, But anyways, no way I'm gonna have my my furniture in porn. Well, I wasn't saying the script as in a porn script. It but, could just be uh, the script be of an empowering a, woman script. It it could be a script okay. of a a a short commercial. Shit or, With or porn involved? No, just a, a entertaining commercial. Yes. Oh, oh. Okay. So it's like with porn. So if it's porn. right, I mean, with porn involved, could. <laughs> <laughs> we could. Ne- Net- Net- Netflix and chill type. In. Listen, we'll just tuck that well, to yes. the side. Yes, that. So a scenario could be we chilling on the couch, Ooh. and it, it's time to go to bed. You kick the to kick the dude out, he take your trash. Annoying. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Right, right before the, right before the nigga leave, she go. Uh-uh. I don't need, I don't need. Look on the tape. table. <laughs> it's a bill. 
<laughs> you just take it. <laughs> and then clothes were pulling the curtain. <laughs> oh, so <dark. laughs> I'm going to bed. <laughs> oh, yeah, I made this Buy bed. Buy the furniture. Oh, yeah, I made this. Oh, yeah, I made this, <laughs> oh, yeah, I made this bed. <laughs> That 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 won't be. It looks like shit. Yo, y'all is annoying. But no, no, for real. Yeah, no, but for real, it's something like that to where you you can. I I just shot a um a a commercial in there uh, two weeks ago. Before all of this, I just I just think people have these unrealistic expectations on you. Absolutely. Well, that goes into starting a business though, because we at in poverty, we're not taught. You know, in 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 suburban communities, white communities. And predominantly white institutions, they teach their kids how to file taxes. Um, they they have business courses in high school. You know, they have all these resources to where they learn how to manage money, how to save money, how to do all these things with money. And for us, it all we see is when you do that, you get a lot of money, then you can go and buy chains and whatnot. So even the the riches of the rich don't know how to ma- manage their money because you have white people managing their money for them. Stealing money from them, easy. And then you, you, you got all these different. Basically, you got all. You have money, but you don't have money because you have other people managing your money. Like people was giving Cardi B slack for trademarking the the her okay, O'Kurt okay, okay thing. Like now she is she is getting paid from now on every time somebody uses that, and that's gonna be around forever. Like that was a business move. That's a informed financially literate move like okay i did this because they talk about like oh she racking she did she that but if you follow her business you know that she's not an idiot no she she At knows what she she's made doing. the right money moves she she was on love hip-hop for what maybe two or three seasons listen she's been oh, moving like yeah she's been moving for the money for the longest like she she doesn't stay in one thing for too long the issue the and issue for me becomes when you live in a community where there are people of color who are out here and they're getting it and they're getting it um, like the re- you know the regular way going through whatever channels and whatever processes and systems that have put in, have been put in place by others, um, mm-hmm. and they have succeeded or you know have succeeded to some degree. You come back and you teach that to your community, which is why I love what they're doing at Be Healthy. You want to learn, come through. Not everybody has that, and I and that's why I test um text you about the <coughs> poverty thing because I feel like we should be informing people on these things like there's certain things that me and you have access to that other people in the community whether they know they have access to it or not or or don't have access to it i feel like it's our job to get back into our community and say yo this is what's going on this is what the numbers is looking like like this is what we have access to this is the knowledge we have access to mm-hmm. when you don't do that you're hurting yourself yep and that's I, I spend my money in the black community but once i see that you moving funny i'm good I I would love to see what percentage, like, what is my percentage in Rochester of my money that goes to black people? Because I really try to give as much of it as I can. If I know a black person that has something that I need, that's what I'm going to before I'm going to Target, before I'm going to Walmart, before I'm going to Wegmans. Bro, I don't even try to, I haven't bought nothing from Wegmans in a long time. Neither have I. I've and one thing, market with one thing that, that turned me off of Wegmans is I, I was doing, <laughs> and when, when I was in, um, and I'm a Wegmans, I'm a, a alumnist. I guess four years strong, whatever. But um, what turned me off for of Wegmans is, even though that they put on this thing of them supporting, you know, diversity and diverse natures. I know people that I know people that work in the high ranks of Wegmans, and they see the the racial inequalities that when it pertains to Wegmans and putting black people in positions of leadership. And even if you go on Wegmans, like. Um, their website where they talk about like what they do in the community and all that stuff so like i forget what it's called i did it when i was at brighton and stratton um all you see is pictures of white people like it's all white people like oh. white whitey white white they're diverse all all whitey right. all whitey they are diverse we need to go get those carts in the winter send the niggers <laughs> like yo and when i seen that i'm like yo mm-hmm I'm they like, yo. Now nah, I told them. I told when I worked there, I was like, I'm not. Wor- I'm take me, put me on. I will die on register in the winter. Don't put me outside in the winter time. That's so it's over for that. But that turned me off of Wegmans because it's like, yo, you say all this like we want diverse people, but that's only on the front lines. Mm-hmm. When yeah. you get higher up, mm-hmm. it get whiter and whiter. It's Just only about what 
the world can see so it feels as though right you mm-hmm. know you're being diverse but when you get into these places first of all don't tell me nothing about like like colleges they use um diversity as a marketing scheme like don't tell me don't get me started on these colleges you being diverse and these ivy leagues with white you, people why do you make whitey's theme um with all these white whitey parents paying each other to get their kids in school don't don't start me on that because i ain't even start talking about that yet i'm they, switching my hand wild. with my yeah they 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 next level but what would but you do if you they, was they're crim they're i wouldn't be paying for my kid i don't even i don't even zip my nephew coat up he could do it himself you know when you that rich. No, you sound like DJ Envy right now. They they sound no, nice. No, I'm not. Hey, I'm 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 just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. You maybe you gotta the, keep you up with the, the money, Joneses. You spend the money on the front end. You know? So you send your kid to a private school, or you send your kid to a school where you know they're gonna get an excellent education. That's where you spend the money. Her daughter. There was a clip of her daughter literally saying, "I just want to go to college to party. to party, drink." Yeah. Like you that, and that doesn't necessarily. That she could, that could mean that. she doesn't have the grades. She ain't going that also that. could mean that she has the grades, but college is just not something that she wants to go to, regardless of the fact when you want your kid to get into one of these Ivy League schools, you prep them prior to. You don't pay for them to get into it. You send them to the best of the best schools. Oh, I'm, I'm only saying white people is different, and I love how different they are. Because it makes no <laughs> sense. Because it makes no sense. <laughs> it makes no sense. I'm but I love pay. it. Because I'm not, I'm not paying for you to go to private school and bribing to get to college. Like, uh-uh. If I got a bribe at that point, clearly you... But uh, but well, most if of the I times they said already, they said they didn't do nothing in high school. I'm gonna say you know my daughter's, you know what she's doing out there at Harvard. She's doing great. <laughs> and do you know how y'all gonna look at me, you snarky motherfuckers? Now I gotta get my son through Harvard just so I could come back at this dinner table at this fancy ass house just so I could shit on you. They do like rank. Not yep. to say that I would do it. Mm-hmm. My that motherfucker gonna have to work for his. And after eighteen, what you gonna do? You better look get some grants. So I'm you better you better ask your mama. I don't know what the fuck you gonna do. I'm actually I but bribe actually nigga? am an advocate for kids waiting a year before they go to college. Oh yeah, explore My the world. Only for a year before they decide what that career path is. I wanna send them to Africa, see some real shit. Just develop their character. Shit, right? <laughs> 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 I want y'all to see how Not it really North is Dakota. out here. Mm-mm. Get away from these whiteies. You've been in America too long. Go get in touch with you. Get away from these whiteies. And don't tell your mama. We're going to say I shipped you off to Texas somewhere with her people. (laughs) With her people. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yo, you is something else. You know that? Um, Nah, but I I agree with you in in the sense of, you know, like even with this, I was spending my money keeping it up until I started to get shows in here. Um, and renting out shows and even with service based businesses, people don't understand, like you get that initial interest, but the follow through for from the client is the hardest thing to get because I don't know why. They just they see it like as oh yeah. What? Trying to get what from a client? When you have the interest but trying to get them to follow through. Well, with them actually following through on that interest after you meet with them and it's like that so so we're fucking part. That eats up so much of your time. Yeah, so that's why you would get you do um, deposits and things of that nature. So they have some type of monetary value. It's like collateral. Mm-hmm. You give me this deposit, so well, I, I'm not you. doing all this work, right? Mm-hmm. And that's that's the big thing with service based businesses. Um, you get the buy in, the initial buy in, but you don't get the continued buy in, mm-hmm. and that's the or you problem. Get people that constantly inbox you, but never never follow through forward. yeah so, like they just eating up space right oh could you and i catch myself doing that sometimes though i ain't even gonna front but it's on i do that because i got so much stuff going on and i forget that not I not because responded. i have no intention on buying that's why i when i was telling y'all about the the father's day i was supposed to have that that sponsorship but i had to deal with other stuff mm-hmm. and i missed the the time frame so i hit him today like bro i'm still i'm i'm legitimately trying to get this, you know, trying to help you out. So what can I do? Mm-hmm. And he was just like, your presence is good, but if you want to, you can host interviews, like do a live show, do interviews. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I could do that. That's cool. Because that's just, the it's, it's that? this Father's Day, the 16th. Day is, right. June 16th. I just want to ask how many of these niggas went to the mm-hmm. store on their kids. What? <laughs> Went to the store anyway, for their kids. I, did you I'm go not, to the we're store? We're not doing that. We're not doing that in the Which black store community. did you go to? How long were you there? We're not doing that in the black 
um, <laughs> that's funny. My dad did um, that to me. And also, <laughs> as, also as a black my boy business. Said, my boy said, I'll, I'll be back in 10 minutes. Never came yeah. back. <laughs> what you want from He came back two days later like, yeah, I'm here. Yeah. I've been waiting. <laughs> here go those chips you want. <laughs> Listen, y'all done? Oh, yeah. my bad. I can re- resonate. As, as I can relate. A, <laughs> as a, um, no, I got to do you like the kids. Stop playing with me. I'm just saying, he really did that. Like, I'll um, be back. He ain't never come back. My, your father? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> he left me with my grandma, knowing I can't listen to no type of hip-hop. I got to listen to the, the <laughs> gospel all day. I ain't know that when I was leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. My, my dad has never not come back. Man, listen, my dad, he do that today. <laughs> he said, I'll be back in 10 minutes. He'll be asleep upstairs. <laughs> I'll be <laughs> Stay right here. Keep this conversation. My, the only, my dad did. Go ahead. That's the least. That's it. Oh, that's the most he did. <laughs> yeah, I asked him when I ran his truck the other day. He ain't text, so I texted quote, quotations. He talking, "What was the question?" Mm-hmm. Oh, so now he, he know he read that so question you, about ten times. You know, you, the thing is, he really my truck. He really don't want me to rent, rent my the truck. truck. And you I'm know, see if you black, ask me it's twice. a black dad, so you gotta say, "Can I rent the truck?" Yeah, you know what I'm like, better put some gas in that motherfucker. It, I gotta do. It's, it has to be some me? sort of monetary compensation, uh, whether yeah. it be gas or money. But that's but again that goes back to like the paying for school shit with the white people. My mm-hmm. dad knows this is about my business, but he also know oh you about to be making some sort of profit. Oh, so you could you could rent this motherfucker then. It's so bad. You, you, you know, bring what I'm your ass over. He's not gonna. You, yeah, my mom. Uh, now my mom on the other hand, she's just like yeah, whatever, baby, whatever. Oh, you we know, need we need like, mothers like that. But we um, for like for that. the black community, it has to be held accountable on both sides. So you mm-hmm. have to be held accountable as a consumer. Do not contact me. If you're not with it, right? But mm-hmm. I also have to be accountable as a business. If I say I'm gonna get you a deposit date, you know, you your deposit date is at a certain time. Your shit gonna be done at a certain time. It's gonna be delivered at a certain time. I I also have some sort of accountability, and I think on both ends, um, that's where where there's a lot of lack as far as like entrepreneurship in the black community. Like there's mm-hmm. no accountability on either side, and then there's also these people moving within their circles and not giving the whether it's an entrepreneur or you just having a guy gathering in the community to, to spread some sort of knowledge because you don't know what people might want to do, what people might be into or whatever, but not doing that, I think you eventually hurt yourself because then your community eventually, if you only have your circle supporting you, you're not going to make any money. Yeah, you're going to make like, the same money. I love money. y'all to death, but if y'all are my only customers, I'm still poor. I mean, I, listen, it's only uh, so many beds I can buy. Exactly. <laughs> How much am I fucking? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Now, now for you though, you're gonna <laughs> have live a polygamous life. I need to furnish that house. Yeah, like come I to me first. Some different shit. Now, nah, don't tell her, but there, I need it in the laundry room too. Make one of those yeah. fold up ones. Fold up. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> Not, really you can't. Cheat. How are you gonna cheat and you polygamous? That's when you know I it's bad. Polygamous. That's what you is. <laughs> Netflix and chilligamous. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, no, I agree, and and I'm, I don't, sh- I'm, I'm, I don't necessarily struggle with that because I'm breaking even right now. I'm still, but poor. it's just, it's just but the, I, it's just the idea of, <laughs> um, getting people to buy in, right? Yeah, that's that's the hardest part, especially in poverty, because again, we living in poverty. We don't got no money. I I just well, posted. Everybody like they got money. I just posted on Facebook or on Instagram story yesterday, like, yo, I'm, I'm doing this. Like, I got in a multi-purpose studio because we got a whole bunch of millennials that's creatives, that's mm-hmm. photographers, videographers, and but they don't got a space. Like, I know, I understand the art of saving money, the art of investing, and things of that nature. So why not invest in creatives? So this is why I got a multi-purpose studio. I already had, excuse me, I already had a um, <laughs> a photographer when I started marketing it after I pa- painted it and stuff. Hit me like, yo, once I start, I want to get back in the studio. And once I start, like, I'm going to come to you. What's your prices? And I told her the prices. And she like, yeah, I'm definitely going to come in. Mm-hmm. So it was just little things like that. Like, as millennials, we are broke. For There's bro. no. It's hard times. I had a grown man tell me he got to work three jobs just to make ends meet right now. Like that's crazy. That's crazy. I don't but even want to work I too. I thought about getting getting a part time job just for the business, but it's like if I have a full time job, part time job for the business. Like when am I gonna um, do this? Right, and you got to sleep. That's, but that's real life. Like that's something you have to think about because 
you still have your regular life and I be, you have your I regular be, bills ooh, and then say. you have business bills i'll be thinking that too like i gotta i just um Mom gotta get Sometimes uber cut me off sweet. yeah uber yeah. cut me off because i my insurance expired but it didn't even expire it don't expire until last it don't expire to the end of this year so i'm like you ain't hmm. working enough in AI. but yeah like i'm like yo i need to do some uber just to get some extra money to mm -hmm. put into it mm -hmm. um but yeah that's business and the movers and shakers out there that's already got some of their businesses going or just clout within the community quote unquote i don't need no like poverty clout just Y'all need to open your eyes. Clout I can. Facts. We know. We know. Open your eyes. Because there's things out here that can help y'all grow. And just y'all just got to be willing to um <laughs> bring them in. Bring them in. Bring us in. Right? That's what I've been on all day. All weekend. That's my new wave. Like I was telling Noah earlier, we got we to gotta grow. We got to grow out here. I was like, shut up. You know, minor. I read the message like. Oh, he get on my nerves. <laughs> Cause that's the business. Yo, let's talk. About, okay, so so this is another thing. I was gonna go on live, but I'm gonna go on live again with this. But I gotta say this because people are even, again in poverty. We don't understand. We're not taught business, but we have a whole bunch of um, entrepreneurs and all this stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So you know, I again I have shows. Shout out to Zill, Zill Life Life Zill Life Lifestyle, the Zillis and Trillis Sports Podcast in Upstate New York, the Plug Radio, um, Fashion Friends and Foe. Uh, yellow confessions, like hey, the them is confessions, my the all those. No, 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 no. It's yellow. L y e l l e a u x. It's a French um, spelling of yellow. Okay. But anyways, like shout out to all my shows. They on the team. They on the hey. network, right? Hey, so I was explaining to one of them because they about to do a live show or whatever and sponsorship. Mm. And sponsorship is I pay you a fee. And you give me advertisement based off of the fee. So whatever package I purchase, you give me that advertisement. And <clears throat> now listen, I'm a, I'm a, I'm the producer of the show. Like I'm the reason why the show is listenable beyond recording day, right? So I'm explaining. So it's it's been a convers an ongoing conversation. Like yo, you should sponsor the show, and we can be like, oh, Static Vibration Network. Um, this segment is brought to you by Static Vibration Network. Blah blah blah. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. Why Why would I do that? Mm -hmm. So then the conversation came up again, and I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's good because, you know, it's, it's good publicity, da, 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 it's marketing. I'm like, but I'm already there. Like, I'm the reason why the show is the show, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and there's other entities, entities, you know, around it. And I was just explaining, before the other entities came in, I was already getting the very thing that you asked me to pay for right now. So as a business, as a businessman, it's not, it might be feasible for me to say, oh yeah, I, you know, I give you, I sponsored it so you can go and do that, but it's not profitable. Like I'm losing money by doing that because either way, whether you say it or not, I'm going to get that publicity because I'm going to have my table with all my equipment on there recording the show. So when people see me with my camera alone, they're going to be like, oh, what do you do? Well, I record the show. You know what I'm saying? So as as we, and this is this is teachable. I'm not throwing shade or nothing because um, we had a productive conversation, and it made sense because it's like, why, why I'm, I'm not going to pay anybody. Now, this is a gem for all business owners, um, Young business owners, entrepreneurs, aspiring, this is a gym for you. Never pay for word of mouth word of mouth advertisement. Because word of mouth advertisement should always be and will always be free. I'm going to pay I'm going to pay to be have some type of presence at your event, right? But if I'm recording the event, I'm not paying you to say my name on the microphone. That don't make no sense. So if it's if it's flip, so like I'm shouting on them out and I do an event and they want to come, by you physically being there and I've already been shouting you out through word of mouth, now I'm adding value to your booth. So it's like I'm sending you over there. Like how we did the um Divine Yoni experience, right? Oh yeah. So how it was we was been talking about the Divine Yoni experience for 
shows after shows after shows and when we did the live show it was like yo go to the divine yoni's experience booth so y'all can go and mad people went you feel me like that's where that's what you pay for you pay for the presence of but if i'm already giving you already paying me for a service i'm not gonna pay you to shout out my service that you're paying me for that don't make no sense yes Damn, right how much would he charge my live show fee that no no, I'm not doing that. Mm-hmm. That's that's as a businessman that makes no sense and I will never ever do that ever in my life. Ever in my life. Ever in my life. That's not that's not it's not profitable. And in business you want to be profitable. Just a little gem. So if you out there and now we're going to run into this a lot because again, we deal with people in poverty that's trying to save money. Mm-hmm. Not a bad thing. But at the same time, like if you let it through, that's not like a good plan. No, I'm just saying, if you're like spending too if, much money, if you're gonna be in business, be in business. Mm-hmm. But make don't be afraid to speak up for yourself and your business because at the end of the day, Pay, get paid what you worth. Get paid what you worth, right? And, and I that's and I fine. think that a lot of people just and, and let me not say a lot of people. Let me speak for myself. I used to want to just be out there and get the exposure, right? Mm. So. It would be like, well, I mean, I could charge this for it. And certain things, like especially if it's a new concept to me and it's something that maybe I've been studying and now I'm going to um, execute it and I might charge somebody like less for it, I want to get this particular design out there. But I used to just want to get the work and it'll be like, oh, well, I'll just charge. Nah, this shit is expensive. It costs me a lot of money to make. So I can't continue to just give shit away. Right. That's not, but again, you know what you give away. Shit, you give away the scrap wood. Some people don't understand how business works and don't understand what goes into it. And also, people don't want to buy shit from you until you pop. And by the time I'm popping, honey, these prices going to you. You way thought up. you thought Versace was expensive. All right, all right. No Ali. <laughs> no Ali. No Ali. No Ali. We're we're actually Zoe and Pierce. Home Zoe store. And Pierce. Oh, who the, who who's Zoe? Oh, you wasn't here. You wasn't listening. You was here for that show, but you wasn't listening. I you was. It on the, I don't. I you know, was I probably talked after. No, oh. no, no, no. Well, I'll let you know later who Zoe and Pierce is. Okay. Oh, yeah, it probably was. No, nah, but he was on. He just wasn't. He had left by then. I think we was. Yeah. Mm-mm. He was probably um cooking or something. Or smoking a cigarette. Losing, yeah, I'm done. Losing I'm connection. Happy I'm back. Losing connection like a motherfucker. <laughs> like a motherfucker. Well, yeah, that's your sister. I do. I do miss that connection we had. Why she? Why she lived there? That yeah, that's the main. She question. married? No, she married to the Lord. But there's a good church out there. Her f- best friend moved out there, and for Shantae, that's saying something. So her best friend, she moved with her best friend. Yeah, they live Kinda. literally like four minutes away from each other. Four minutes. Four minutes. Four I minutes. I'm my best friend, but I have. Okay. Been, I'm telling you now. I, I don't know if I moved to North Dakota for you. He or she, black or white. Uh, she, she, she black. She African. Like oh, she got the thick accent and everything. Oh, like my my sister needed that seclusion. 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 So I, I feel, feel you, like man. so did you. You need that seclusion. Some from time to time. I you need that seclusion. I do. Yeah, I yeah, wish you I do. could just like take control of your life for like six months. Puppet. You would be. You walking away right All now. Right. See, Devin's making it. I was about to say, he's dragging he's, this shit. Yeah, he is. This he's is going to be a discussion That's on Facebook later. That's not what I later. mean. That's not what, what I mean. What would you do I don't if want somebody you to took control of your life for six months? Exactly. Well, what would y'all do? Leave that up would for you debate. Be, would you be someone <laughs> else's puppet? <laughs> Shut up. He's, he starts a lot of drama. I ain't starting nothing. I do be starting drama. a lot it's of okay. drama. It's okay. Live your best. But that drama, listen, that drama. Leads for discussion. Yeah, right. My staff told me to run for mayor, school board. Now they boosting oh your ass. Man, I'm school. Yeah, I, I can see you care for the kids, but mayor, nigga. Man, listen, they don't want mayor. I'm I, I'm mayor or controlling everything. I want to. We talk about that off the air. That's that's next level. Because if you run for mayor, I got a lot of ideas and I got a lot of shit I'm not feeling. But we talk about that. That's your People opinion. Not here. I'm security. Oh, you security? I can tell where the smoke is at. <laughs> this nigga look like he about to step to. He had my marijuana. Listen, <laughs> my marijuana <laughs> division. We have him on the show. It Mona. works. Do not have him on any government. Nah, he gonna show. be my running mate. You know, you know how head of state. 
when he oh, had a yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah, I got all that. He Bernie Mac. No. <laughs> He's <Wow>. laughing. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> what is his policy? I'll show you his motherfucking policy. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Yo, oh, that would be funny. Head of state. Head of You're state. not gonna win. Security. You're not gonna win. Oh no, nah, we Please. winning. I was about to say. Yeah. It's right. Plus, they you, gonna pull up everything you no. ever felt on the show. That's okay. <laughs> you gonna have to they get know, rid of it. They, they know <laughs> something real. Wipe it out. And then, we'll and then that's the Jesus mindset. I put myself in the gutter with individuals like Shannon. So I can know the truth. That's how you connect to the and poverty. Elevate them. Elevate how much was it? 53, 53%? percent 53.4% yeah. of poverty? That's how you connect <laughs> with them. You, it's that's how you connect with them. Stop with the 50. It's 100%. Okay, that's how you connect with the 100%. The people in the hood is living in poverty. So I need to connect with that other 50%. So that 153%, we gotta connect with all of them. <laughs> <laughs> and Shannon speak to both. <laughs> he speaks both? to both. both Shannon, you, wor- both you both worry both. about the hood, Shannon. I gotta go out. I'm gonna go out to the no, suburbs. Not Shannon, a problem. But what Shannon can do is he can entice the right man. To you gotta speak right up. And they'll vote for you. I definitely. Yeah, that's true. You know, you know the crazy part because I don't want to, you know, get black women upset or anything at these events. So, <laughs> at these so, events. so I'm gonna say I love all women. <laughs> we know. You know, you can't say that now because R. Kelly took that in. And, oh and yeah. yeah. I love all 18. And well, I can't even say that. I'm about to be grown as hell. Shit, twenty one and twenty one. All women of age. All women. <laughs> All women. Like, what do you mean? What, what, what do you say? Like, what do you on. mean by young women or something like that? No, or she. How do you girl, young girl was or? asking. Um, there's some women that likes. Uh, there's some men and older men that likes younger women. There's some younger women, younger women that likes older, older men. Are you an older man that likes younger women? He said, "I'm a man that loves all women." <laughs> all them bitches, and it was quick. Like, oh, yeah. oh I mean, he ain't think he had, about no, it. He, had that already he ain't there. justified. Yeah. It was yeah. just, I'm a man that likes. I'm an older man that likes all women. They get no surprising questions at that. They're all briefed as to what is about to go down. Yep, mm-hmm. so that's and why they can prepare. Him and his that. circle probably was like, say all women. Say all <laughs> just leave it all. all women, please, don't women. don't be giving don't, no don't specifics. Mm, leave it general. To your cell phone. <laughs> they watching. The leave fans is watching. Had that tear ready. <laughs> that whole story is wild. Whole, I didn't watch the interview because I, I didn't either. That, that was just a clip gold. that I seen. That yeah, I I don't gold. feel the need to give him any sort of like what performance. The the I don't need see the performance. The need is to not only make yourself burst into tears. It makes you really confirm this nigga. Wait, not to say that you need a confirmation, but I'm saying watching this video, you know for a fact this nigga is guilty. She yeah. she was like she was like, was like OJ. Any, any of these allegations true? He was like none of them. <laughs> the audacity. The audacity. <laughs> like, like, like me. me. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, nah, uh-uh. that shit. He did that shit, but that's okay. I even watched um the OJ trial on Netflix. It really. I watched. I, it. I, that's that. Hey, but I used to be like, he ain't do it. it that's just another mistaken identity. OJ Man, did I watched that. that shit. He did that shit. OJ did, he that. did that, and shit. he got off. But hey, when if you could spin the narrative, you could. You spin it right back on him. He get off. He got acquitted. But he, no, he spent the narrative. You spin it right back He's, on him. The woman, the woman, uh, in the video that they said was the girl clearly went on stage. I mean, went on court and was like, "That ain't me." Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't even know R. Kelly. Yeah, he my friend. But <laughs> I don't even know R. Kelly. <laughs> Like Sam somebody said, <laughs> somebody said. <laughs> then R. Kelly gonna look look the judge in the eye and say, "That's not me." Shannon, you Yo, gotta watch that, <laughs> watch that shit. Watch that shit. That shit is wild. Can you listen to Devin, please? Because I can't see. <laughs> somebody said you look like Styles P. <laughs> 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 it's funny because you still going. <laughs> we laughing. <laughs> Yo, you don't know what's going on. I, I don't say, know. Dude in the saying. blue look like y'all Styles P. At Y'all, y'all ain't laughing. We not laughing at you. Listen, listen. You gonna, gonna, you gonna address that comment? Like a nigga with money. Oh, oh okay. that's all I, that's okay. all I give that's a fuck a nice about. <laughs> all right, hey, I get drilled. That's worse that than poverty that. shit though. As long as I look like a nigga with money, yeah, that's it. We're going but, back. Nah, he but this is usual. <laughs> he could have said Debo. Just a, it was a she. Oh, she. Mm-hmm. Uh, she she judging me. She say I'm cute. That's actually the girl I was telling you about uh, the tattoo artist. Yeah, I know. I I I feel like she did. Oh, okay. Yo, I don't be knowing people that went to soda mm. no more. I, I feel like I got her on my friends list, but I don't, I don't know. But um, so quickly, 
let's let's change gears real quick because I got to talk about the RCSD Great Depression. Why do you want to? <clears throat> because man, I, listen, I deal with this five days a week. The depression. I don't care about the. I, listen, the inst- I'm I'm gonna type in RCSD in my phone. All right, so listen, we're in a state just like we talk about poverty, right? Mm-hmm. So and we got to educate, right? So this is something that we got to talk right. about. Don't try to don't. Try to <laughs> Because listen, he want to be a teacher. So the bad. RC, I am a teacher. I'm talking we about talking like. About I am a teacher. An Raggedy activist. God damn, you want to teach the teachers? Have I am. Teacher. I do yeah. teach the teachers. What are you talking about? But I'm saying you want to. You just want to have like a shit. label, like Dr. Martin Luther, Dev King, like so, just something reckless. No, I'm not taking nobody else's name. I'm gonna be my own person. He do not want to be. Okay, Dr. Anglin, is that it? Does that have a ring? I don't know if I want to get a doctor's though. You know my point. We talk about what's sad. We in the Great Depression right now. That's what's sad. Tell us about the Great Depression. These budget cuts. They cutting teachers. They cutting programs. They trying to cut resources. This this Rock the Future organization that came out of the Woodworks. Rock the Future. Yeah, Rock the Future. The organization. Let me tell y'all. I thought I was talking. Wait, because you just just let me say it. I don't know nothing to say. So. There is an organization that is supposed to be teaching teachers and shit how to, like, be more restorative and push, like, restorative justice and restorative practice in the school. Is it black people? Black led? Of course it's not. Then I don't want them teaching no teachers. Ask me what one of the the dudes drive. What he drive? A Bentley? Ferrari? A fucking Tesla. A Tesla? Oh! Coming to a poor-ass school. Driving a Tesla? Is it the Tesla truck? I mean, shit. You want him to no, pull up, pull up an RTS or something? No. Oh, what shit. I want is if you're saying that you're trying to come into the community and be an ally to the community, you do not pay the people who work for you to Tesla salaries when you're in a poor district. Do you know how much? Work. Do you know how much the district te- uh, pays the distinguished educator that's supposed to fix our schools? Two hundred thousand dollars. Two hundred thousand dollars. I so what and I'm saying cut, is this is a part of the system that, that, that people need. Food. Amazing, right? That is amazing. And he's not even from here. He's from the Dominican Republic. And oh. then he was all his educational background is in L.A. and all them places. That's U.S. diversity right there. We're just mm-hmm. going to throw in somebody. They, they hired a brown man. Mm-hmm. Well, the first man was white. They but, hired a brown man. But. The one who passed out? No. No, no that's, out. His, that's his. No, that, it's too much money a year. And he's white. <laughs> yeah, you said the first guy was white. I was thinking about him for whatever reason. Oh, oh, you mean like when I said the first guy was white, you said the guy that passed out? Oh, yeah, no, no. Um. Uh no, the the first guy that they hired, he was white and he didn't take the job because they wouldn't finalize on his contract. So I get he, he probably wanted more money or something within his contract. From what I read, don't quote me. You can go and look at hey. look for the article if you want. No, you but from what I read, he didn't take the job because there you was work, disputes. You work a lot when you um come in and help poor kids. Not not the, the poor kids don't need the money you do. Yo, and then you taking away from the poor kids. The 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 impoverished kids by kids with so much trauma taken away from trauma that you don't acknowledge. Let's talk about that. It's trauma that you don't acknowledge. They you know still what I'm traumatized, saying? but but as soon as they walk in the door, you give them something this big for breakfast, and then you tell them to sit down and do all this work, and they act out. You're like, I don't understand. Not even that I big. It it's probably this big. It ain't even it ain't a lot, bro. You remember what what, 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 what you food. remember what you remember oh from God. elementary school for breakfast. For breakfast? Breakfast. Uh, the, the the little bowl of cereal shit. Uh, or, oh, I remember those. or what? Uh, sometimes, you, you, if we was lucky, you'll get the... Uh, if you was lucky. If, <laughs> you, if you was lucky toast. at the poor school, yeah. Yeah, if you get the French toast. French toast, what else? Um, I don't even think I remember. Oh, that motherfucking nasty-ass peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You ain't get the, that for breakfast. That was for lunch. That, was, go lunch. Ahead. that yeah. was lunch. That was lunch. That was lunch. Oh, um... Was it hot or cold? Well, didn't it switch? Breakfast. That shit was. Oh. First of all, we that, that, no, they that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying. I remember. Would you? I remember, I remember the cereal. Listen, we had yeah. pancakes. We had sausage. Yeah, the pancakes. We oh, had the sausage. We yeah. had pancakes. We had sausage. We had eggs. We had um, what else? We had the cereal on some days. Yeah. Like was, we had, we had full too. course meals Golden for brands. breakfast and lunch. And if you didn't eat, so like if you didn't eat the full course meal, then you had the peanut butter and jellies and the alter- alternative stuff. Yeah. Basically, because I I remember this Did because the I didn't have more eat. More money back then. 
who knows? It was under different leadership, and so you would get based. Basically, it's almost like Congress. Congress decides where the budget, where the money goes in the budget. So you would have different things. But you know, before we, when we got the soda, it was Papa John's in the cafeteria. Like so, it was a whole bunch of different things. You know what I'm saying? So like, when I go to school and I see our kids getting a muffin. What happened to ice cream at lunch? We got ice cream. My, my school got ice cream stuff. My school guys, yeah, so. um, <laughs> kids be farting in the middle of class. <laughs> Listen, them classes oh, be stink them, too. You know them, I, them. I don't. I, I try not to go in classrooms. And listen, I, I try to keep as many people out of my room as possible. But anyways, um, yeah, we had full course meals um at breakfast and lunch, and if and you had the alternatives if you didn't eat, you know, the pork or whatever the case. Right now, I never seen something as bad and trash as, um. The food that they give our kids now it's, i mean it, like it's true. bad 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 they give them fake cheese hey, God damn. I get it. <laughs> they give them fake cheese yeah, if, you work, you if you work in school, if you work in a school if you work in a school you, school, yeah. you would understand Ugh. the I, the only reason i'm not speaking right now is because the level of anger i had and i told you i got in an argument with the lunch lady and the next time it happens and it's a kid there i'm going to say bitch I held it back. But the fact, the, A, the things that I they held give it back. these children. Like she got a gun in the back pocket. The things that they give these children to eat, whether it's breakfast or lunch, um, people's, and, and this is a part of parents not being involved in the schools, right? Uh-huh. Parents should be. Parent was involved in the schools last, back in the day too. That's I will true. say that. Parents should be extremely pissed off. Um, and then the fact that they hoard the fucking food as if it's, it's some five course meal that people should be grateful that these others are giving their children. It's absolutely disgusting. Mm -hmm. Like it it is literally absolutely disgusting for me to argue with the lunch lady about a kid saying she was hungry. She's like, Oh, well she left it on the table. She she's in fucking fourth grade. She got excited about seeing a friend. Like she's like, what? She shouldn't have left it. I have a nephew. You put food in front of him. If it's, if something on TV come on excited, he going to leave it and go to the TV and then come back his food you mean to tell me i should take that shit she, right in? she literally mean move your feet you lose your seat and the fact that it's also people that look like us that have now been in positions where they feel like it's okay to pre- to oppress other people that look like us because they getting a little piece of change from people who don't look like us you should be fucking ashamed of yourself yes what goes on in the rochester city school district it should be a civil rights fucking lawsuit because the shit blows my mind absolutely daily. from absolutely. the food to the level of education to the behavior that's the behaviors that's going on where they're pushing drugs on these children this shit is wild so yes they are pushing drugs i will agree with that 100 percent um as school we go to trap school that shit ain't no school drug. to trap house to prison oh right so no. when, when i'm talking when we're talking about no, the that's great depression no that's poor shit yeah, when we talk no representation. When we talking about the great no, great depression. It's, it's broad term, you know what I mean? broad no, shit. I know what you mean, but I'm just saying. I feel like we say a lot of shit is nigga shit, but I think that we have to start replacing that because we all we know what that means, nigga shit. But we have to really start replacing that with that's poverty shit. That's being oppressed shit. Okay, that's poverty. Because when you say it that way, people absorb it differently. Fuck nigga shit. This is what happens when you grow up in uh-huh. poverty. Niggas don't have a place. Well, when when you don't address poverty. That's what happens. So, like, I, I, the reason why I said that the RCSD is in the Great Depression is because among all of the things considered, they're cutting the budget. They're cutting the very programs that allow schools to um, rise out of receivership. Receivership is when the school is in bad standings. And when the state come in, um, when the state come in, so basically what happened to 41 school last year was in receivership. The state, I'm telling you, the state came in, they did their review. The school didn't get any better. It was getting worse, so they closed the school down. And basically what happens is it's either an independent organization opens, takes over the school and opens it up as something different, or the district opens, opens it up, but they basically wipe out all the staff and bring in new staff. So like all yeah, the staff, so the leadership is gone. So all the administrators are gone. So it'll be new administrators in the building, now, and then the all the teachers reset. and stuff have to re-interview for the positions. So just reset, reset. It's right. kind of like when a business fell, like a, a restaurant fails the health inspection, yeah. they get shut down and they just change the name. But it's the same yeah, people. but it's the same thing. So 
when I'm talking to, when we're talking about the Great Depression, so we have those type of things. And then you have this budget cut, but we have this distinguished educator who was appointed by the state and the district basically okayed him to be paid two hundred thousand dollars out out of the district's budget. But you budget. can't give my child another cereal bar. Don't make well, me not, punch you in the face. Not even that. It's just but in in return now we're in such of a de- deficit. Um we're in so much of a deficit money wise, like on the business side, business as usual. They're running a business downtown at central mm-hmm. office. So they're looking at numbers constantly. At the expense of your children. They're looking at numbers constantly and the way that the budget has been handled thus far, it has put the district in a very, very very, 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 very negative place to where now they have to cut back on so many different programs to um, basically make up for all the mess ups that they've been doing in the past. And that's affecting teachers. That's affecting teachers because they're laying off teachers that's, that doesn't have any seniority and all that stuff. And our kids is going to suffer because now if they're laying off teachers, that the only thing that that means is our classroom is going to have more students in there per one teacher. Right. Yeah. So if you if so, let's say a building had 50 teachers, you laying off teachers, you lay off 20 of those teachers. You keep the rest of all the other the teachers. Was and that 30? And you students. keep the same amount of students. But it is projected that the district is going to lose 6000 students to charter schools and stuff at the end of this at the conclusion of this year. But, but still, when you have they all those have, they still fund in some ways and get and profit off in some way from them charter schools as well. It's not completely 100 percent independent from the district. Right. Right. Yeah, I know. It Charter schools is a whole nother. They get funding from, so charter schools get funding from um, CSE, so s- the special education things. Mm-hmm. And in the state. Some and this, from the state. Yeah, and it's loopholes in, in that business. Again, it's business as mm-hmm. usual. But this business as usual is putting our kids at a disadvantage, right? And you're not there when these decisions are being made. I don't think... Like people don't understand Listen. that you have you can go to all of these meetings and sit in on stuff and be like nah, but uh, that's a good point. Let's talk about these meetings because there's a budget board meeting on the second, and I just posted something on Facebook the other day, and I said I don't know why all you teachers like it's a teacher at my school. She prepared this whole speech talking about how I don't even know what she prepared a whole speech to go in front of the school board and talk about why ELT, extended learning time, should be reinstated in our buildings and all that stuff. So basically why they should save this money, save this in the budget, like put this in the budget somewhere. Mm. And I said, why are you, y'all, why y'all wasting your time? Y'all speaking on deaf ears and already decided upon budget. This budget is already decided upon. We knew this. Why? Because they've sent out everything. Once they said it's being cut, it's being cut. It's not, it's n- now the conversation, see, the problem with our teachers is they're worried about the money and not worried about our kids. Mm-hmm. So this EOT, EOT time basically is an extra hour put on a day. So my school goes to 3 o'clock. The teachers get, but the school the actual school day ends at 2 o'clock. Mm-hmm. So from 2 to 3, EOT covers that extra hour, and the teachers get paid, like, a good amount of money for that hour. That puts on... That puts on top of their salary an extra amount of money at the end of the year. But a lot of ELT the teachers, classes are teachers just babysitting kids for that hour. Or like a language live thing. Something that have to do with technology. It's not really effective, honestly. It depends technology. on who you have, but it's it's the minority in the school of people who are actively, like, effectively creating. Because you have to create a whole new curriculum for one day a week. And these teachers so don't create nobody, no curriculum. They don't create curriculums for what they're doing all day. So they're not going to create a, curic- a curriculum for kids they just for an hour. They just bringing in that money, right? So um, I'm saying, basically, I'm, I'm, when I wrote the post, I was like, y'all planning on going to this meeting, but it's already decided upon. So y'all going to this meeting talking about money, neglecting the fact that our kids is losing way more than what you lose in a year. Mm-hmm. So... When we're going into these meetings, y'all need to be talking about what's next. Yeah, what, where are you putting them? Y'all, on? y'all cutting all these programs. Y'all making teachers basically nervous because they don't know if they're gonna have a job next year, or they already know that they're not gonna have a job next year in the district because you laid them off. So, what are we doing to make up for the lost resources that we are losing because the budget has been cut? You're giving it to the guy who makes two hundred thousand dollars. What is this distinguished educator doing? 
and he getting paid two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Well, distinguished mean? educators are actually real, but like I looked up salaries for him. Apple has a distinguished educator, but he only get paid like fifty k. What? Yeah, I seen something at online. Apple? At Apple, and the district is paying them two hundred thousand dollars. Because like, the, because the district is at a point where they are so like at this point they're on their knees to the state because the state is the like, state is the problem. What? The f- but it don't matter who the problem is. They answer to the state. Did you read so that? The state can say. Did you read that report on Travion Rowe? Nah. You need to read that report. Um. That that's next level, and the state second that report. The state allowed the district attorney attorney general whatever it is, to say that social workers in the school can diagnose kids when the district policy, the district policy or state policy is in school um, social workers cannot diagnose kids. Absolutely not. But they allow the report to say they have the ability and the licensing to diagnose mm-hmm. kids with depression or whatever it is. Like little things like that to where the state. So they can wow. give your kids the. Oh, I know. I know that. No, they can't do it. But in the report, it says you can do it to basically show fault in the district and the school because they didn't the diagnose the answers to the state. Like whatever the state says, you know what I'm saying? Like it's gonna it's gonna go over whatever the district is saying. Politics is usual. But at the same time, even if the state is fucked up because of because the state has more power, the district is now at their knees. So it's like now we gotta do whatever we gotta do so we can become in good standing again. With the state, and that comes from what happened with the road, not, not with the yeah, road that also Travion comes with Rowe. these um these testing scores that all you know what I'm saying like all this shit is politics and none of it is to benefit our children. Listen, it's all to put money in people's pockets. But when you and I feel like I never understood, or I thought I understood Malcolm X's quote until I started working in education, and I've worked with extremely rich children and I've worked with our children so I see like the disparity there there's but a difference. there's no way that you should allow allow the enemy to teach your children but you don't even know that they're the enemy because you're not in these buildings Mm-mm. the way that I hear and not to say everybody's the enemy but the way I hear certain, some of these teachers speaking I'm like yo what huh what you what's they that come, about what's they that come, about they come from a they come from a, a place of extreme you know how we come from a place of extreme poverty they come from a place of extreme ignorance mm-hmm. yeah yeah mm-hmm. but they this is something that they don't it's almost like an aa group they don't know how to to um to admit that they're coming from a place of extreme ignorance mm-hmm. they can say oh i don't understand why they act like that but to and i was going to make this point when you finish but that's a great segue i watched two ted talks today three ted talks today actually around education there's so many resources out here to which you can these teachers can go and just listen to different ideas different creative ideas that will help them be more effective in the classroom setting but they choose not to because they're so stuck in their ignorance and they don't want to address their and ignorance. they're also not invested in our kids their kids do well because the people that teach them look like them and they're invested in them if me and you were in these positions I, you know what's funny that's, that's literally how my mind works so if y'all say that this is racist i would say this is the level of education you should say that in the fuck your level of education fuck if you went to school to teach fuck all that extra shit when you have an investment in something you move differently they do not have an investment in black kids. Period. Listen. So the thing is, I'm not having a conversation with somebody who does not have no have who does not have an investment in my children. Listen. Get the fuck out of here. These kids in the suburbs, yes, they do well because they have money, but they also do well because the people that are educating them are invested in their futures. They are not invested in our future. They don't even know. They don't even feel like we have a fucking future. And and that's the result. Yo, you get what you put in. You get out what you put in. We had some runners in my school one day. I had a uh, one of the kindergarten teachers that struggles with kindergartners. Um, she literally said, "Well, he's practicing. He's he's practicing running from the cops." Literally said that, 
and in, in, in times and I like that, bitch at school. <laughs> and in times <laughs> like that, I have to um, bite my tongue, and I, I just have to bite my tongue. I have to bite my tongue because it. There's no good to come out of that conversation. Mm-hmm. Now, I, I, I have the ability to address that comment. But, again, when we're talking about the investment, we that shows me. The white me, savior on the show? Hmm? The white savior. Yeah, we have talked about the white savior. Uh, but, but when we're talking about that investment piece, that shows me how invested you are mm-hmm. in this job. And, and, and not, not, not in the job. This, that shows me how invested you are to my youth that you're teaching that's the that's the view you have of them like w- how do you even come to formulate your lips to say he's practicing running from the cops and he's in he was a i white think boy, he was third grade that? i think he was third grade he's an athlete like come on that like this is this is the things that we we deal with that's, that's why i say about the lady at my job how she wants all this recognition for I say, if you're not in the community, I don't give a fuck what book you read, sis. I don't care about that. See, the books don't. The don't books don't do it. That. The books don't do it. The, the, the books don't do it. It's 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 because so many teachers, books? so many teachers r- read these books, these different strategies on how to deal with, you know, inner city kids, black youth, teaching black youth, all that stuff, right? But they fail to practice the things that they read, and they fail to understand that. Our kids, it's not that our kids don't want to learn or they don't feel like their education is important to them or that it's not any of that. It's it's our kids deal with traumatic experiences on a day-to-day basis. So to a developing mind, that affects us. Like, like not for nothing. I'm using Shannon now, for example. That's okay. We, we, <laughs> That's we okay. learned why he he prefers white women over black women. Like, we know that. Why? Because... Throughout his developing mind, he he experienced a traumatic, just a traumatic event, moment, whatever. It doesn't now when we say traumatic, it doesn't mean getting hit by a car and you see somebody die. Traumatic means can mean like how we said earlier, your dad say I'm I'm going to the store and don't come back. <laughs> I was traumatized when that happened, right? <laughs> I, lied to I used to cry. I didn't never knew what a lie. I want my dad, right? So that's. It's trauma. It comes in many different forms and ma- many different sizes. So, as we learned on the show, Shannon had a more productive, more healthy relationship with a white woman than any black woman that he's um tried to build a relationship with. Right? Correct. Goddamn right. So white mother, woman, in a, right? In a motherly role. In a motherly, in a motherly role, right? Mm-hmm. So that directly influenced what his preference on women because he directly um um connects white women to his re- his healthy relationships and black women to his unhealthy relationships and nobody wants an unhealthy relationship so that is just something that he had to grow up with mm-hmm. so when we're talking about in the classroom and we're coming up with these creative response these creative um like um responses to traumatic events traumatic behaviors behavior in general we have to be creative in how we deal with them because at the end of the day they're they want to learn, but they're too distracted to learn. They don't want to deal with them, and they don't want to take the time out their day to find these special Listen, resources. Listen, I got... It goes back to connection. It's all about people who want to make a connection and people who want to make an impact. And you can't ask people who had no intention on connecting with children that don't look like them um, to go the extra mile i don't i'm not going the extra mile that's like that's like me dating two dudes and one of them i really really like and one of them i don't it's like the one i don't i'm not i'm not going above and beyond like i'm not going extra i'm not i'm not uh, allocating time to see you hang out i'm not doing any of that because you're not the one i really want to be around there's been a lot of movies about showing black kids growing up in school and uh white teachers trying to save them Mm -hmm. they're a lot to handle they are. The movies are a lot to handle. Or no, I'm saying the the white the white women in the movie will just look at them. No, like, oh. them kids are a lot to handle. Yeah, because they show they are. every aspect of them. Goddamn kid, I, I'm trying to think of the movie name, but I can't. But it was the white lady. The Freedom Riders. The Freedom Riders. Goddamn it! But she wanted to connect with them. Yes, she went in there and she saw an issue. But She's like, see? we're not connecting here, and I have to figure out a way to connect with them. Mm-hmm. And she didn't stop connecting with them when they said "fuck you." She was like, okay. 
All right. Shit. This is a this is a door. This is a door. This but I'm going to get through it. <laughs> it's all about connecting. And there are amazing people that work in the district. There are amazing people who are not black people who do want to connect and do understand their impact and do understand, like, and do the, try to. The, they put yeah, in the effort. Yeah, they put in the effort, and you can see it. But the fact is that that's the minority. Yeah, that is the minority, right? So, um, but yeah, I, I've I have a, a fifth grade, a fifth grader. I have a five year old in kindergarten who says he doesn't want to go to class because he doesn't like his teacher. This is kindergarten now. This is the grade that you're supposed to be building blocks and counting. Counting circles and counting Getting ready for animal time. cards and all that oh, animal they crackers. Don't have nap time in uh-uh, they don't have um, nap time in kindergarten no more. I remember having nap time in kindergarten now. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, they, I, but you you have these. They another thing is education, which I've always said, education is a, is a evolving thing. So the way in which we teach is should evolve with it. So. Um, since these teachers don't don't like to put in the extra work or they don't choose to put in the extra work in order to connect on a deeper level with their youth and they would rather judge their behavior as opposed to try to connect with the students to figure out why it is that they're acting the way that they act, then we see that decline. So again, going back to the budget and all the cuts and things of that nature, when we're talking about the budget cuts and the state of our youth and the state of our district, the state of our district is we're in the Great Depression right now. Like, this is equivalent to the Great Depression in my eyes, not because of money, but because our students are literally about to struggle even more. Um, and it's tough to see, which is why I'm opening my own school. I'm opening my, old cha- my own chain of schools because I have a different outlook. And when I was told I should run for school board, I was like, school board not ready for me. Because I would literally flip everything upside down. If they gave me a, a, a if they gave me a school, I will flip the school upside down. Because a lot of these, it, once you get to the principal, like the not vice principal, the principal ship, and above, the school chief and downtown, everything turns into politics. So now you have politicians running the school district. Now you have educators turn politicians running the school district. No, you need educators running the school district to allocate funds to resources to. Um, yeah. Um, resources allocate, allocate. Shut up. Whatever. Um, tomato, tomato. To um, put resources into each of our schools in order for our kids to um strive. Now, we named this show New Amsterdam. Why? Because that show is dope. And his mindset of running the hospital, a community hospital, is the same mindset a superintendent should have. Um, running a school district. I thought we were converting over to a weed-based show. No, <laughs> no. If y'all not haven't seen the show New Amsterdam, go and see. Go and watch it. It's on Hulu. You got Hulu? I'm. We were talking I'm, about I'm Hulu earlier. It. Yeah, I'm stealing <laughs> my friends. He still don't know I'm, I'm on it. It's an NBC show. <laughs> but uh, he still don't know. <laughs> now he know. <laughs> um, Everybody on somebody. But yeah, it's a, it's a show about a medical director um, who doesn't care about the money. He just cares about helping his patients in any way, any don't form. Exist. He don't exist, but the ideology, the mindset, mm-hmm. is something that should exist, right? Yeah. Because when you think about when you just focus on numbers and data, that don't show results. That just shows what you've been getting so far, right? And there should be a. Pr- mm. So, um, it's it's really we just need that that I don't care about the money, let's get this done. And we'll find the money somewhere. And I wish there was a salad that tastes like chicken. There is a salad that, that tastes like chicken. I don't want that. Don't it's chicken salad. There's people like that. They're Ew. just not <laughs> here. Or maybe they are here. And they well, we need it in Rochester power. because our education system is failing miserably. Our education system, and I continue to say it, is a civil right. Three matter. to five years I'll be opening my school. I'm not dropping the name. I'm not dropping the name of the chain of schools. I thought you said it, upside down school. This shit is just different from y'all. Shit. <laughs> nah, upside, upside down, down school is just different. But no, I I will be because I see I see the <laughs> What's disparities. What's your punishment? <laughs> <laughs> going upside. <laughs> You're going upside. That ain't hanging upside down. 
blood rushing in their head. They need more thinking power. <laughs> um, I see the dispar- disparities. I see everything from the inside out, from central office down to you know the operations of the school. Which my school is actually a really is run really well, but I still see the politics that deters the progress that we can really make, and we need p- people like us. I spoke to a woman who in leadership at a school, and her experience at the school is vastly different from mine and yours. But she works at one of the few, if not the only school in the district, where the minority teachers are white people. That makes a big difference. Oh. You got to speak it to the mic. Oh, my bad. School. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but good for her. Black History, History Month was a different month. White people just teach black history. Wow. If you black, you know how many shits I've seen on Facebook of you people look, decorating yeah. mm-hmm. they whole shit? That shit be beautiful. Yeah, I it's a vibe. It turned into a vibe. Mm-hmm. Facts. White yeah. people ain't about to do that shit. We gonna make sure. We're also not the ones that's supposed to do it. We supposed to be there teaching our kids, and that's just the moral of the story. Yep. Well, that's being said. We about to wrap. It's been a good show. It's yeah. been a great show. Cause we back together. This is great. We this is this is the first time the yeah. feng shui, mm-hmm. and I can smoke in the back room now. Just found out. Really, Devin. Y'all already know. Bring that set of ears for next week's show. This is Real Face of Brands Introspective Insight Talk Show. I am King Dev Dope. And this is Shannon Shenanigans. And it is your favorite co-host, Noel Moore. Goddamn right. I love you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Uh, uh, introspect. Uh, uh, tip inside. Hope you come back next week. Come back next week.